time travel is a fun topic. For years now, there have been a number of strange occurrences that seem to create a manipulation in both space and time. These strange occurrences have come to be known as different instances of time travel and time slips in our reality, that not only causes unexplainable phenomena to surface, but can change our very perspective on the nature of our world. Some of these are known to be hoaxes, but there are some cases in which have caused a lot of confusion. This could be because the case never gets solved or the people involved seem to vanish. Recently, Ron Mallett made the news by talking about time travel. In fact, it's said that he's built a prototype time machine, and that it could help us to achieve much more in the future. Ron Mallett is currently an astrophysicist and physics professor at the University of Connecticut. He recently did an interview with CNN where he said the following. So according to the theory of relativity, if you're traveling fast enough, you respectively are traveling through time, and effectively that would be a representation of time travel. Many of the greatest accomplishments surrounding that of Einstein's work was not actually that of the math that he developed with the help of his wife, but rather that of his understanding of the qualities of space and time, and the addition of his work surrounding the existence of dimensions when talking about the nature of reality itself. In the realm of classical physics, many scientists had once believed that our universe, our very reality, was once only existing in three discrete dimensions. These three dimensions allowed solid objects to exist on three different planes, length, width and height, and was believed to make up the entirety of space. The truth was however far stranger than what Aeon had ever anticipated. Given the fact that three-dimensional space has the ability to warp and distort the very fabric of reality, Albert Einstein began his work on theories of special and general relativity, understanding that perhaps there was another dimension that had yet to be accounted for. It was during this work that Einstein would uncover the nature of gravity wells, the distortion of space and how this can in turn distort the very passage of time itself. By understanding that the warping of space also correlated with that of the distortion of time, it became obvious to Einstein that space and time were one and the same, and that perhaps this unaccounted for extra dimension was that of time itself. By realizing that time and space were interwoven, Albert Einstein began to propose his theories of the fabric of space-time, that understanding that both work in tandem to help form the very nature of reality itself. Ron Mallett went on to say the following during his interview. It turned out my understanding about lasers helped me in my breakthrough with understanding how I might be able to find a whole new way for the basis of a time machine. By studying the type of gravitational field that was produced by a laser ring, this could lead to a new way of looking at the possibility of a time machine based on a circulating beam of light. Eventually, a circulating beam of laser lights could act as a sort of time machine and cause a twisting of time that would allow you to go back in the past. Ron is someone who has experience with lasers, and his time machine is based around them. The machine currently consists of a closed loop with two beams of light that travel in opposite directions. It's been proven that a laser ring is able to measure the effects of the rotation of the Earth. The idea here is that this machine could be built on a much larger scale, and it could be used to distort time. However, as of right now, there are flaws. For example, it said you would be able to travel back in time, but not come back, and you'd only be able to travel back to the time in which the machine was turned on. Although there are flaws, researchers have said it's a great start, and although more research is needed, these initial discoveries could lead on to bigger things. Although time travel sounds impossible, there have been a few cases of time slips that have interested many people. Perhaps one of the most famous ones is that of the mysterious man from Torrand. This story is said to be one of the biggest pieces of evidence for that of a strange glitch in reality, and it's left many wondering if this story is evidence of alternate realities, and somehow a mix-up in the fabric of our universe that could have briefly interacted with another. Back in the month of July in 1954, Japanese officials at the Tokyo airport had a problem identifying the country of origin for a man that was ready to board a plane back to Europe. 
On his verified passport was the country of Torad that had no signs of a forged document. After sitting down with the man and questioning who he was and where he was going, he became increasingly annoyed as to why he was being held. They later revealed to him the problem of trying to find his country of origin of which didn't exist. After arguing with them to show the country on the map, they gathered several different world maps for him to use as evidence for his country's existence. As he pulled over the map, pointing to the general direction near France and other areas, he realised that his country wasn't anywhere to be found. He became increasingly disturbed by this and told the officials that his country had been around for more than 1,000 years, and that it didn't make any sense. When they asked for him to confirm his identity, he gave the name of his company as well as the company he was visiting in Tokyo on a business meeting, and that during his trip he had a scheduled meeting ahead of time. The officials then called the Japanese company but they quickly denied ever having heard of the man, or having any meeting scheduled. Additionally, they couldn't find no evidence of the man's company whatsoever. This ended with the officials renting a hotel room for him to stay in, while several guards watched as they were unsure of what he would do. When the man laid down, it said that he disappeared and was never seen again. Another alleged case of time travel is that of Kathy Kramer. In the month of August back in 1960, a strange disappearance occurred in which a six-year-old girl went missing. This led to a full investigative search by law enforcement and investigators throughout the entire house, and a few miles radius surrounding the house. This led to neighbours, volunteers, law enforcement and many others joining in on the search, doing full sweeps of the house and the neighbourhoods. Details surrounding the investigation came from the combined witness accounts of the parents, they claimed that the young girl was put to bed around 7pm, but then faded from existence and disappeared before their very eyes. It wasn't until another 8 hours passed that suddenly the young girl faded back into existence, asleep in her bed as if she'd never left. When asked about where she was or what happened, she refused to speak, and officers and other investigators were completely baffled as to how a young 6-year-old girl could have hidden from so many people. Perhaps one place where time travel or time slips is seen is in ancient paintings. One of the more well-known ones is that of the Madonna with Saint Giovannino. The painting depicts Madonna with the infant Jesus and Saint John. In the background is a man looking up into the sky, and also his dog by his side with its mouth open slightly. Both of them have their attention focused on something in the sky. When first looking at the painting, one of the first things you'll notice is a large object that can be seen hovering in the sky. It was painted in the 15th century and in recent years it started to make the rounds on social media, causing many to put forward their ideas on what the object could be. While the main person in the painting is that of Mary, you can't help but see what appears to be an unidentified flying object. Interestingly, the painter even decided to add a man looking at the object. Some have said this is proof that these mysterious crafts have been visiting our planets for years, while others say it could be proof of a time traveller. Some have made the connection that many of these older paintings do show these mysterious objects in the sky. These artists were skilled in what they did, and the question here is why did they add these objects that look very similar to UFOs? Another theory, however, suggests that the object in question is just God or even angels. As of today, though, the true nature of what the object is is still heavily debated. So what do you make of these mysterious cases, and do you think that time travel is possible? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below, and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.